March Madness means home court advantage for the University of Maryland women. That's the way we like it. A big win for the Terps in College Park today. Sports director Mark Viviano joins us now in the studio with the latest. Making it look easy. Home court, home cook, and dinner served. And they weren't trying to be rude to their guests, but this one's a feast for the Maryland women. Governor Westmore and the family in the stands in College Park to root on the home team. The Maryland women, the number two seed in the region, Holy Cross, came in as the 15th seed, and it is a mismatch. Maryland jumped out to a 14 0 lead. They were up 23 to 4 after the first quarter. Holy Cross never challenges, and it's a 93 61 Maryland first round victory. The Terps advance to play Arizona on Sunday. Game time to be announced. Dennis Valera with Terps fans in College Park. Before the game even started, everyone we talked to confident the Terps would clinch the win, and they did so by more than 30 points. The excitement, it didn't stay just on campus. People tuned in all over College Park. We got our Maryland towel that we get to, to wave around our head. Pete and Carol Saucier made the trip down from Cockeysville to rep the Terps and cheer them on at the Xfinity Center. The number two seed faced off against the number 15 seed, College of the Holy Cross. We're really enjoying the, the team, the people who stayed and who are very good right now. Carol's talking about the fact some key players transferred out before this season began, but both say head coach Brenda Freeze really rallied the team hard. Fun to watch Brenda coach because at the beginning of the year we didn't know what we had. And the first couple of games, we thought, gosh, is this going to be fun? We couldn't tell, and this turned out to be lovely. Many fans on campus sang Coach Freeze's praises, including Mary Beth Dugan. She sees the team going all the way. She's a fantastic coach, and when the girls are excited and having fun out there, they win. And they're having fun. And that's the key of the whole game is to have fun and to, you know, bring in the crowd. Meanwhile, off campus, a couple fans cozied up at Cornerstone Grill and Loft. Angela Kelly also sees the Terps making the final two, and she'll be back at Cornerstone to cheer them on. Oh, it's going to be epic, and I'll be right here at Cornerstone Bar and Grill where I've been for all the championships as long as I can remember. The women's team plays next on Sunday against Arizona. The men's team back on the court tomorrow against Alabama. Reporting in College Park, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.